Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer from Ellipsis. This is our most recent can release of New England IPA. This is Moto Moto. So this is a 7% New England IPA. This is the brainchild of our assistant brewer, Lisa, who's probably uh, watching this video, uh, checks out the channel, and thank you so much. Uh, without the wonderful work of the back of house and um, you know, hard work of brewery staff, us in the front of house won't have delicious beer to serve and the guests in the tap room won't have delicious beer to enjoy. So shout out to the brewers, uh, brewers out there. So uh, this is DDH Amarillo HPC 431. So uh, HPC 431 is obviously an experimental hop, doesn't have a name to it yet. I actually looked up an article. I thought this was relatively new experimental hop. This hop was still being, uh, it was actually experimental all the way back in 2014, uh, being used by Six Point. Uh, so I just read an article interesting about that. This is an interesting hop in the sense that generally a lot of hops are bred by, you know, breeding plants. Um, this one is open pollination. So actually the origin of both the mother and the father of this hop species or hop varietal are um, unknown. So apparently offers um, citrusy notes some fruity notes, um, tropical, but then also has this like herbal twang to it. But and again, this is covered up with citrus mosaic, so I'm not gonna really be able to pick, our, uh, pick apart simply what HBC 431 is. And actually, interestingly enough, if you guys remember, Flying Dog used to do single hop beers, single hop and uh, double IPAs, and they still do, apparently. So I haven't had Flying Dog in years. And I guess if you visit a tap room or a local to them, you can find a beer that, it, that was HBC 431, single hop. So always fun. Um, Pretty crazy. That, that, that was definitely a thing when I got into craft beer, but not really a thing anymore. Like just straight single hot beer. So uh, this beer is nicely hazy, uh, not completely opaque, medium plus haze, wonderful kind of like um, white gold to medium gold color. On the other nose, I get a little bit of sweet grapefruit, that kind of like oily citrus note, oily orange. The first hit I also got was a little bit diesel-y, a little bit of that kind of like um, mirror seam thing, but also just like a little bit of like gasoline kind of dankness. But yeah, that's possibly the mosaic. Yeah, that makes sense. That's quite nice. Cheers. That's a nice, pretty, crushable New England IPA. Um, there's a little bit of noticeably of talkness i've let this warm up a little bit and you know, we've changed our water profile a little bit so into that um there is this general theme of just like dankness that rises through this possibly the mosaic and the hbc but i just got this like like high octane like ripping gas it's, it's honestly a little bit chemically it honestly has a little bit of Mm, not quite bleachy and cleaner like not all the way there but a little bit of that kind of it's just like it's like that pungency of like chemicals and gas paint all that stuff despite that it's reasonably soft in the middle a little bit of like doughy quality in there as well honestly that's mostly what i get very strange i feel like at some point and this beer I was maybe getting, I mean, it's not old. I fridged it the entire time, so three weeks in, but I get a little bit of like orange zest and grapefruit peel out of fruity qualities, but in general, it's some really nice crush, uh, crushable uh, New England IPA. I feel like a little bit more residual sweetness could be helpful. Uh, the beer is very dry. Um, but it's honestly like for people that like West Coast, I think this works for them. It's that East Coast meets West Coast kind of thing, right? It has a little bit of fluffiness, a little bit of fruity aromatic, but then um, it doesn't have quite the crisp malt sweetness. And then it's just like really dry. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. I think for the OG people that like San Diego West Coast double IPA, it's restrained on bitterness, but it has this nice dryness to it. So it sort of plays East Coast, West Coast. I think that's for those people. You know, if you like IPA, like if you like proper IPA, I think this is going to be, this is like a great transitioning beer into New England IPA. So very interesting. As for rating, let's go with a, good. Um, 91, 91, that's Moto Moto from Ellipsis. Until next time, guys, cheers.